name is also Cadet Lawson and I'm going to be telling you all about the application process onto UGSAS. So the first thing you're going to do is download the application form and this can be found in all the bios of our social media and the link on this post. So the first thing you're going to do is check that you meet the entrance criteria and this can be found in the first page of the form. The rest of the form consists of some personal details and some simple questions along with a 250 word personal statement which is your chance to sell yourself and tell us why you'd like to join UGSAS. The final thing is to email it off to the UGSAS admin email address and this can be found on the final page of the application form. The next thing you're going to do is come along to one of our open evenings and this is going to be done virtually this year. This will be your chance to see how the squadron runs and meet some of the staff and students that are on UGSAS. It's also a good way to find out more about the next stages in the application process as well as ask any questions that you may have. So after our open evening you'll be invited along to come and do a pre-joining fitness test. This is to ensure you can meet the physical demands of UGSAS training such as adventurous training and military skills courses. So the fitness test consists of a 20 metre multi-stage fitness test followed by max effort to sit ups in one minute and max effort press ups in one minute. The exact standard to these can be found on the RAF website. Although this can feel daunting, it's important to give it your best effort and you'll do great. So if you've been successful in all the stages so far in the application process, you will now be invited to come and do a formal interview. It is important to dress smartly as squadron staff will be conducting this and this will rather be done in person or virtually depending on Covid restrictions. The interview will last around 30 minutes and consists of two sections. The first section is all about yourself and what education you've had, leadership roles you've done and any hobbies and interests you may have. The second section is all about the RAF, current affairs and why you'd like to join UGSAS. A good way to prepare for this interview is by practising answering questions about yourself brushing up on your RAF knowledge and learning about both national and international current affairs. It's, it's important to remember that there is no trick questions in this interview, we just want to get to know you. So after being successful in your interview, you will then be asked to complete a medical. The medical has two sections and the first section is a phone call to the doctor just asking some basic medical questions. And if you're successful in the medical phone call, you'll be invited along to an in-person appointment for more thorough medical examination. Upon passing your medical, you will now be invited along into the squadron to be attested and become a member of UGSAS and a part of the RAF Volunteer Reserves. I hope this video has been useful for you and we look forward to seeing you on the squadron soon.